Over the next 10 minutes, I'll show you how you can create and host a WordPress website all by yourself. So if you're planning to start a website, WordPress is the number one and the go-to option as WordPress dominates the CMS market with over 61% market share and also almost like 43% of all websites on the internet are actually powered by WordPress. So if you're planning to start a website, WordPress is a solid option to go with. And today in this video, I'll show you how we can set up a WordPress website by installing WordPress on a VPS server. So let's quickly get started. To launch a WordPress website, the first thing that you will need is a hosting and the second is a domain name. And the hosting that we are about to use in this video is going to be from Altahost. And the first thing that you're gonna do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to altahost.com. And this platform that is Altahost offers a wide variety of different hosting plans. So if I go ahead and click on this hosting option, as you can see here, we have shared hosting, WordPress hosting, VPS hosting, VDS, dedicated hosting, Windows hosting, game hosting, Macintosh hosting, and all that. And in this video specifically, I'm trying to install WordPress on a VPS hosting, which will be optimized for performance and also cost wise, it will be effective. If you want to, you can also go ahead and try out this WordPress hosting right here. So I'll go ahead and click on this VPS hosting option. And as I scroll down, I can find all these VPS hosting plans within Altahost and it starts from $4.80 and goes all the way up to $18. And the VPS basic plan, which costs less than $5, gives you one CPU core, one GB RAM, 30 GB NVMe SSD, okay, IP version four, IP version six, and then you even get a free SSL certificate. So if you are just getting started, the VPS basic plan should be more than enough. So if you're planning to migrate an existing website with some good number of visitors per month, you can consider all these plans out there. So first thing first, you will need to get your hosting plan. So I'll go ahead and start with VPS basic. So I can click on this order button right here. And next up, all you're gonna do is to complete the building process. So here you can go ahead and select a billing cycle. If you want to be billed monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, annually, bi-annually bi or tri-annually. And next up, you need to select the server location. So you need to select a server location that is close to your target audience. For example, if you're catering to, let's say, audience from the UAE or Dubai, it would be best if you'd select this UAE Dubai option. Or let's say if you are specifically targeting people in the Australia, you can select Sydney, Australia. So you get the point, right? So you've got to go ahead and select the location that is closest to your audience so that the website speed is going to be higher and the latency is going to be lower. And next up, you need to select an operating system. And as you're planning to install WordPress, Ubuntu 22.04 looks good. So I'll select that. And if you want a control panel for your hosting, so you can just go ahead and select it from here. So you have a couple of these options and cyber panel and Hestia control panels are free. Or if you want cPanel plus code cyber panel, you can go ahead and select it and pay along with this. But the good thing is that you don't really need a control panel and I'll walk you through the entire process. So I'll leave it as none. Okay, if you want additional disk space, you can add it in here. Additional IP version for addresses, script, new installation. And if you want any add-ons, you can add it in here. So pretty much everything looks good. So I can go ahead and click on this continue button and complete the billing process. So the purchase is now complete and here I have my Linux VPS hosting ready. And as you can see, it is active. And in order to start a WordPress website, the next important thing that you will need is a domain name. So if you already have a domain name, you can go ahead and use that. So if you don't already have one, you can head over to Altahost, click on this domain section, click on dom buy domain names, and then go ahead and find a domain name and register it. So you can just go ahead and say, example domain okay it's already taken but you can go ahead and find a domain that is not taken add to cart complete the registration process and then once you have your domain name this is where the real fun begins and now we are going to install and set up wordpress and in my case i already have a domain so i'll be using that so i can head back to alta host i'll close this one and i'll click on this manage button right next to my hosting plan so here as you can see it says linux vps hosting disk usage is zero bandwidth usage is zero and as you further scroll down you'll be able to find your server information for example we have the host name password primary ip and all other details in here and trust me these are all the details that you need to install and set up wordpress and to configure wordpress or to install wordpress we'll be using wordops so wordops helps you to install wordpress on your vps hosting in just a couple of clicks so I'll go ahead and click on this documentation button right here. And then I'll move over to the installation section. So we are going to follow this one step automated install. And all you gotta do is to run this particular command right here. Now I'll head back to Alta host and I'll copy the primary IP. So I can copy that. And next up, I'll go ahead and open terminal. And I'll go ahead and type ssh root at the rate and paste the IP address that we copied and hit enter. And next up, you can find a password in here. So I'll go ahead and copy 
the password just like that head back and it is now asking us to provide the password so you can copy this password paste it in here and even if you paste the password in here it won't be visible after pasting just press enter and you should now be logged in to your Alta host server okay so here we have it Alta host and next up I'll head back to word ops and copy this particular command so I'll make sure to leave all these commands in the description below if you want to refer to that so I'll copy this head back and paste it in here and hit enter so it says welcome to word ops install slash update script version 3.22.0 and now you don't have to do anything wait for a couple of minutes and word ops should be installed on your server so let's wait for it to complete while word ops is being installed we'll go ahead and point our domain name to the hosting and doing so is pretty simple you gotta go ahead and copy this primary ip from the server information section so i'll go ahead and copy that Next up, go ahead and open the domain registrar page. So you could have your domain on, let's say Cloudflare or GoDaddy. You gotta go ahead and open the DNS management section and click on this option that says add record. And now select the type as A, the name as at the rate for root and then paste the IP address that you copied from here. Okay, the primary IP address. I'll paste it in here and I'll set the status. Okay, maybe I'll disable it for now and I can click on save. So this is all that you got to do and now our domain name is pointing to this particular server within Alta host the the vps server that we bought just now word ops is now completely installed on our server so that part is now done and now i'll head back to word ops and i'll click on this uh creating sites option and i'll scroll down and you'll find a section that says wordpress site so first and foremost we need to run this particular command so i'll go ahead and copy that and paste it in here maybe and we need to replace our site address uh, with site.tld. In this case, I'll go ahead and type astrokj.com. So this is the domain name. So it simply says wo site create astrokj.com hyphen hyphen wp. Wp stands for WordPress. And if you want to configure nginx fast EGI cache, you can put hyphen hyphen wpfc. Or if you want to configure Redis cache, you can put wp Redis. So it's up to you. For now, I'm not planning to use either of these. I'll head back to terminal and simply paste this command that is wo site create astrokj.com hyphen hyphen wp and I can hit enter okay so it says start adding repository for mysql nginx so it should take hardly about one minute and I'll see you afterwards all right so there you go the wordpress installation is now complete you now have a wordpress website up and live on the internet and you can go ahead and access it using this username and password as easy as that so we went ahead and purchased a vps hosting and installed wordpress and all of that in less than five minutes so wordpress installation is now complete so as you can see here we have the logs everything is done so the wordpress installation is now complete and i waited for about 15 minutes for all the changes to take place and now i'll go ahead and open a guest window and i'll head over to astrokj.com and hopefully upon clicking enter i should see my new wordpress website so let's see oh yes there you have it we have our WordPress website up and live with the default theme and now I should be able to log in to the same by heading over to WP admin that is your website.com slash WP hyphen admin and you can click enter and it should take you to this page right here and you need to copy and use the uh, admin username that is astro maybe I could type it astro and I'll also copy the password okay paste it in here click on login and look at that now we are now logged into our wordpress dashboard so we have successfully installed wordpress on alta host on their vps server and this is how simple it is and next up i could go to the appearance section click on add new theme and maybe search for let's say a random theme and let's say install this one i can click on install all right so there you go we have our theme installed and now this right here is our new theme and next up you can go ahead and write your first ever blog post by heading over to post add new post and type something random and i can click publish click on publish and my first blog post is live or oh, there you go and by heading over to this plugin section and clicking on add new plugin you can then go ahead and install all these plugins and customize your website the way you want to and this is how simple it is to create a wordpress website using alta host vps hosting plan so that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video and now if you want to use alta host you can go ahead and click the first link in the description below sign up for a new account and get going